How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC. Also, after you upgrade, you'll be able to keep all your files and programs. In this video, I'll show you the easiest method to install Windows 11 with unsupported hardware. We won't be using regedit to edit our computer's registry, and we won't be messing around with the Windows 11 install image. A quick warning before I get into the tutorial, installing Windows 11 on unsupported and untested hardware may cause your system to become unstable. You may run into glitches, bugs, and slowdowns on your computer. Additionally, you may not receive Windows feature and security updates in the future. However, with my personal experience running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, I've been able to receive updates, but these might abruptly stop one day. And finally, even though we'll be keeping our files and programs after the upgrade, it's always a good idea to back up your important files in the unlikely event that something does go wrong. The first thing we can do before upgrading is use Microsoft's PC Health Check app to see which PC specs do not meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11. To get it, head to the first link in the description below. And once you're on this webpage, you'll see some information about upgrading to Windows 11. But just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see a section that says check for compatibility. Here we can download the PC Health Check app. Once the PC Health Check app is done downloading, open it and install it. Just accept the license agreement and click install and the PC Health Check app will take a few seconds to install. Once the PC Health Check app is opened, it will look something like this. Click check now under introducing Windows 11 to check if your PC is compatible. As you can see, my PC does not meet the requirements for Windows 11. This computer does not have TPM at all, and is also running an old and incompatible Intel i7 4790K CPU. On screen now, I'll put the minimum requirements for Windows 11. In summary, your PC must have at least an Intel 8th Gen or AMD Ryzen 2000 series CPU, 4GB of RAM, a 64GB or larger storage device, your computer must be UEFI and Secure Boot capable, and needs to have a trusted platform module or TPM that is version 2.0. Also, if the PC Health Check app determines that your PC is compatible with Windows 11, I'll leave a video in the description below that I made on how to upgrade Windows 11 on a compatible PC. Anyways, we have now confirmed that our PC does not meet the requirements for Windows 11. We can now close out of the PC Health Check. And before we do the installation, we need to make sure that our Windows 10 is fully up to date. To check for updates, open up the start menu, then click on the gear button to open up the Windows settings. Then click update and security and make sure that Windows is up to date and install any optional updates if there are any. You can also notice here that there's another mention that our PC doesn't meet the requirements for Windows 11. Here I'm just going to wait for Windows to finish downloading and installing all the updates and when it's done I'll restart my PC to apply them. And once my PC is done restarting, I'm going to head back into the Windows settings, update and security, and you can now see that my Windows 10 is up to date. Now we need to download our Windows 11 ISO image. I'll also leave the download link in the description below. And there are two ways we can download a Windows 11 ISO. We can download it here directly from Microsoft's website, or we can download it with the media creation tool. In this video, I'm going to download the ISO with the media creation tool, as it's much quicker than downloading it on the website and the file size is a bit smaller. To download the media creation tool, click the download now button under create Windows 11 installation media. When the media creation tool is done downloading, open it up. And then give it a few seconds to get things ready. Now accept the license agreement. Then it's going to ask you to select a language and edition. I'll just use the recommended options for this PC, then click Next. Now you need to choose which media to use. Here select ISO file, then click Next. Now choose where you want to save the ISO file on your computer. I'll leave it on my desktop for easy access, then click Save. Then the media creation tool will begin to download your Windows 11 ISO. This can take some time depending on your internet speed, so I'll speed this part up to when the download is finished. Once the ISO is done downloading, the media creation tool will take a few minutes to create the ISO image. Now that the ISO file is done creating, we can exit out of the media creation tool. Now we need to download Rufus to create a bootable Windows installation USB drive. Rufus is also able to modify our Windows 11 ISO image so that the Windows install will bypass any system requirement checks, and this will also allow us to install Windows 11 on an incompatible PC. 
Once again, I'll leave the link to download Rufus in the description below. And once you're on the Rufus website, scroll down to where it says download to download the latest version of Rufus. At the time of recording this video, the latest version is 3.20. Once Rufus is done downloading, open it up. When you open up Rufus for the first time, it will ask you to check for updates. Just click yes, and then Rufus will open up. Now go ahead and plug in a USB flash drive to your computer that's at least 8GB in size. Make sure that you have any files on the USB backed up as creating a bootable Windows install USB will format and erase the drive. Back in Rufus, select your USB flash drive under device, then click the select button and locate the Windows 11 ISO we just downloaded. Leave the image option as standard Windows installation. Under partition scheme, this depends whether your computer uses a newer UEFI BIOS or an older style legacy BIOS. Most newer computers made after 2011 or 2012 have a UEFI BIOS, so you'd want to set the partition scheme to a GPT. Anything older most likely uses a legacy BIOS, so in that case, you'd want to set the partition scheme to MBR. In my case, my computer has a UEFI BIOS, and I know for certain that my current version of Windows 10 is partitioned for GPT, so I'll leave the partition scheme as GPT, and I'll also leave the target system as UEFI. Under Format Options, leave everything default, and then click Start. After clicking Start, you'll get a Windows User Experience prompt. This part is very, very important. Make sure that the checkbox for Remove Requirements for 4GB Plus RAM, Secure Boot, and TPM 2.0 is checked, as this will modify our Windows 11 ISO image so that it will bypass the system requirement checks. You can also choose to select any of the other checkboxes, like Disable Data Collection, to skip any privacy questions during the install, or to automatically create a local account on install. I'll just leave these boxes unchecked for this tutorial, and I'll click on OK. You'll then get a warning that states that all data on your USB drive will be destroyed when creating a bootable USB. Just go ahead and click on OK. Now Rufus will create our bootable Windows 11 installation USB. Rufus has now finished creating our bootable USB, and you can close out of it. Now you can boot into this USB to upgrade basically any computer to Windows 11. But since I'm going to be upgrading this computer, I can just open up this PC, then locate the USB drive, which in my case it's the H drive, and then open that, and here you'll see all of the Windows 11 install files along with a file called Setup. Double click on the Setup application, and this will open up the Windows 11 installer. Now that the setup is opened, it will say install Windows 11, simply click on next. The setup will then check for updates for the installer, and when it's done, it will need to restart, so the setup will close and reopen on its own. The setup will then do a PC check, however, it's going to be skipped since Rufus added a bypass, so the installer will continue despite installing Windows 11 on incompatible hardware. Now accept the license agreement. The setup will then check for updates so that we are installing Windows 11 with the latest updates. Now Windows 11 is ready to install. Your files and apps will be kept after the install. But if you want to do a clean install, you can just click on change what to keep. But in my case, I'll keep everything the way it is and then click on install. Windows 11 will then start installing. This part will take some time and your PC may restart several times during this process. I'll speed this part up until the installation is done. When Windows 11 is done upgrading and installing, you'll be brought to the login screen. So go ahead and log into your PC. And once you log in, Windows 11 will need a few minutes to get everything ready. And when it's done, you'll be brought to your desktop. You can see that I am presented with the new Windows 11 start menu. And at this point, we have successfully upgraded a PC with incompatible hardware to Windows 11. All of my files and programs are also untouched. We can also head into the settings, system, and then about to confirm that I am running Windows 11. Under Windows Specifications, it shows that my computer is running Windows 11 Home. And you can see that my CPU is an Intel i7-4790K, which is a CPU that Windows 11 does not support. And that pretty much brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.